Hello and welcome to the video on uh, animation introduction. What I've got here is I've got the canvas and I'm drawing a rectangle on it, <coughs> a blue one, and let me go ahead and refresh it and let's see what happens. When I refresh it, notice that it's animated. You might say, well, that's really pretty crude. It's just growing. That's true, but it's doing it on its own. And I'm controlling uh, the direction of it, and I'm controlling the speed of it by JavaScript. So let's refresh it again. All right, and there it goes. There goes my rectangle, and this is the beginning of animation. And of course, what we're trying to do here is trying to show the simplest possible example first so that you get the idea. Let's go ahead and look at the code here and see what this code is doing. Let's look down here at the body. We see body unload start, start timer, which is a function that's going to be up in the head part of, the, of my document. And on, on unload, it's going to stop the timer. And there's my canvas element right there. Canvas ID equals C1 to width and the height. That should be familiar to us all. There's my script down here in the body, which is triggered when the, when the page loads. This sets the, the document, gets the element uh, by ID C1, which is this canvas ID right here. And then uh, sets my canvas, my stuff, get context 2D. And then my canvas fill style blue. So that's all fine, and this is stuff we've covered before. Let's look at the onload start timer. The onload start timer, what I see here is there it is, function start timer. My canvas fill rectangle x, 0, 50, and 75. Well, I start off with x equals 1, and x is getting incremented every time this function is called. Well, what calls this function? Well, I have something here called timer is equal to set time out and what it's doing is calling a function called start timer which is this function right here this function keeps calling itself well how often does it call itself well it calls itself every 100 milliseconds in other words this value here is in milliseconds right here this is the this what is here is the function that is called every time uh, this this does a count of a hundred. So effectively, what it's doing is that this is a recursive a recursive function that's calling itself. This could call any function; it doesn't have to call its own function. But in this case, it did. As soon as this loads, what happens is that this function gets called every uh, tenth of a second, every hundred milliseconds. And every time it does, the value of x gets incremented and it keeps moving the rectangle, makes it wider and wider and wider each time until the rectangle runs uh, off of the canvas and it looks like it stopped, stopped uh, filling out. This is a function called stop timer. Effectively, this is a reserved function in, in uh, JavaScript, clear timeout timer. So you're going to clear this, this dude out right here. Um, set timeout. This function right here is a reserved JavaScript function. So that's something we're going to be using over and over again when we do animation. So it, it almost bear, uh, behooves us to set that uh, to memory as to what it does. So let's look at this one more time, see what it does. If I reload the document, so on load, it goes up there and it's calling that function. That function is recursive, and it keeps calling itself every tenth of a second. Now, and it keeps doing it till it runs out of the canvas space. And it looks like it stopped. It really hasn't stopped, but just doesn't have any more canvas. Like, let's say, for example, I, I took the value here of 100, and I changed it to 10. And I come up here, and I save this. And I come back here now. And now I reload the document. And bang, it happens a lot faster. Okay. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.